I haven't been to Spain just yet. It's definitely on my list of places to go. But in the meantime, when I need a fix for the food, I come here to Altrea at Denver Union Station. Beautiful downtown, and they have some awesome food here that really gives us flavors of Spain. Quinn joins us. Quinn, we're talking about kind of international foods and how they use pork. You have a pig on your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so that clearly has to say something about Spanish yeah. cuisine. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the, the pig, the pork, is very prominent in Spanish and Portuguese cuisine. Um, the, the Basque region and Spain really adopted uh, pork because uh, they kind of, when the Moors were invading and ruling them, that was kind of their revolt against them. So they adopted that into their cuisine a lot. And uh, right now what we showcase is uh, our famous croquettes de jamón. So and it's a. They're adorable. I know you don't yeah. want me calling them cute and adorable, no, they're, but they they're are. They're very cute. So we use a 15 month uh, aged hamon in there, eggs, bechamel, bind that all together, flour, and that's that's really it. And this is a traditional dish. Yeah, very much, yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. If you've gone to the region, you know, yeah. um, you can get these. I mean, it's like street food or it's in nice Absolutely. restaurants, yeah, everything. Yeah, you just go to a cafe, get some coffee, you get a croquette. Hamon, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah, how it's they hamon, say it. Yes. Yeah, so right now, uh, what we serve, and actually for what we always serve, um, we have an 18 month Serrano, a two year Mangalika, and a four year uh, uh, Cinco Jotas jamón. So this is, a, this is a really special ham. It's a black footed pig from Spain, and it's fed primarily a diet of all foraged acorns. So it has a really unique flavor. It's salted less than the other ham, so you can really taste the rich nuttiness of that pig. So yeah. you can skip this trip to Spain and you can just come here and yeah. enjoy the food because Absolutely. they really are bringing those flavors right here into Denver. Uh, we love to see that international cuisine kind of making different stops in our city because it does mean that we have such an eclectic food scene, yeah. which I know I don't need to tell you, you know, but for all of you out there wanting to try something, you can come here and have that little taste that you get overseas. All right, go to copork.org and follow us on social media at Colorado Pork Producers Council.